What's up guys, it's Prime Meal today. I have some exciting news. The loyalty point system has been redone. There are some awesome new rewards, so I thought it might be a good time to go ahead and cover the top five most important things you should be spending your loyalty points on. Now, two of these five things today we're covering are in my in real life money spending video. So if you do have some extra cash that you want to throw down on video, definitely check that out. So first off, we're getting 200 points per day now. And secondly, there are events now where you can get extra loyalty points. So keep an eye out for those. All right, guys, so we're going to press escape and go into the pearl shop right here then we're gonna click on loyalties right here and now we can see all the awesome free stuff we can get I want to point out that now there is a new system where you can get limited edition loyalty point rewards all of the ones at the top right here stay available until a certain date some of these are bad ash rewards but we want to make sure we cover the bare bones most essential top five loyalty point rewards today so we're gonna cover those plus those are the really good ones anyway so let's get started now remember some of these rewards have a lot of points you got to save up for this is a way game you have to be patient for some of these badass rewards it is definitely gonna be tempting to buy that supreme old moon scroll or that life skill mastery scroll as soon as you have the points but don't do it get the good shit first then we can get the good shit later remember to log in every single day to get these points let's get started now number one on the list is the weight not the family weight which is nice to have but the weight limit for your individual character you can get four purchases per character this means if you're patient you can save up for an extra 200 LT if you look at the pearl market 200 LT right now is 17 bucks guys that is worth it be patient and save for that extra lt you're going to be carrying around a lot of loot in this game being able to carry as much weight as possible is worth it so just have patience i promise you you will thank me later be patient and save for this extra weight now what else saves you when you're traveling around the world picking up a bunch of shit other than being able to carry a bunch of stuff it's being able to carry a lot of different kinds of stuff and that's what we're going to save up for next is the inventory plus four expansion coupon this is 1500 points points each and you can get two per character if saving up for that weight is driving you crazy and you haven't already gotten these go ahead make an exception and get these inventory expansion coupons you can get two per character so make sure you get both of them having those eight extra slots will come in handy i promise definitely do these as well the third item you may want to be considering is the value pack one day if you don't want to invest too much money on value packs every single month this is the number one thing you'll want to save for the value pack adds some awesome extra benefits but the most important benefit from the value pack is this plus 30 percent marketplace sales upon silver collection benefit you can find ways around all of these things except for this thing right here if we go into the central market which is where you sell all of your stuff of course you're going to see a market sale silver collection benefit if you hover over this little hand here if you do not have this vp you are losing 30 percent of that silver there are a couple different variables that can affect this number but the biggest contributor is the value pack benefit when i first started playing i didn't even worry about this and i sold stuff left and right on the market it was fine but if you really want to min max that profit you get from selling things on the mp which is a huge part of the game and you are completely free to play i would highly suggest to save for that value pack one day just once in a while at least how you get around this is you keep dumping stuff into your central market over and over and over so what i mean by this is when you go into the marketplace you just keep dumping stuff into the warehouse over and over and over until you get that one day vp do not sell stuff keep saving everything you got in your central market warehouse save for two weeks and then sell everything on the same day that you activate this one day vp personally if i don't have a vp active i am always saving at least two weeks out of the month worth of loyalty points for this vp one day if you're still trying to save for things in the loyalty shop then just put it in your head that you're only going to be selling everything in the market once a month period that's it end of story and that'll give you two weeks to sell everything with a vp and two weeks to save for loyalty points for something else. Over time, those extra points will add up. Again, patience is the name of the game here. The fourth thing that I think is incredibly important is the character slot expansion coupon. This is 10,000 loyalty points, which is 50 days worth of time. Yes, I know that's a lot of time, but if you play BDO for one year after you save all these other important things that we mentioned previously, you'd have an extra seven characters. With character slots, you can get a lot more money from having boss alts, lowering even more tax with combat fame and just generally having fun on different classes and characters that you may not otherwise be able to that being said they already offer you a couple different character slots to start off with so this may not be as important for you as it would be for someone else if you can get by without this don't worry about it save for the other things first it is definitely nice to have extra character slots even if you don't plan on playing them a lot just for the extra bonuses that you get from having extra characters but by no means is this nearly as important as a one day vp weight or inventory slots no matter where you go in the game there's going to be a storage for each specific 
specific town that you're in. Being able to store stuff in every single city is extremely important. You are not going to have enough room to put everything you want on your own inventory. And as great as it is being able to put stuff in the marketplace that you want to keep anyways, there's some stuff that you can't put in the marketplace. More than likely, eventually, you're going to have that one town that you just love and you end up spending all your time in. Pick that spot as the one spot you decide to invest even more storage slots in. For me, for example, I spend most of my time at trees, so I put most of my storage slots into Grana. Having all this extra space is a lifesaver, especially when you get used to those extra slots and weight that the value pack gives you. Once you run out, which you eventually will, you will want this extra storage space, I promise. And at only a thousand points each, saving for five days for one of these bad boys is great. It will add up. Every five days, you're going to add another slot to your favorite storage. Keep doing this. It will add up over time. I also mentioned these because they are incredibly important, not just in being able to help your gameplay, but also as a way to just splurge if you just get sick and tired of saving loyalty points, because let's be honest, sometimes you just gotta spend something. If you just have to spend your money on something, guys, buy a storage slot. You will not regret it later. Guys, thank you so much for checking out my video today. I'm so excited you hung out with me. The number one thing here is to just be patient. We can do this safe for these items. Don't feel bad if you end up spending those points on something else. Remember above all else, it is a game, so you're supposed to have fun with it. If you end up spending your points on something, it's okay. Worst thing that happens is you have to keep playing the game to save up more points. Definitely smash that follow button if you haven't already. I would really appreciate that. Hit that like button as well. Go follow me at twitch.tv slash it's pragma. Let me know down below what you plan on spending your loyalty points on first. Love you guys so much. Can't wait to hang out with you guys on stream. I'll see you soon. Click the link down below and don't forget grind harder baby let's go.